Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I had so much fun with that painting the other day with the one ball that we're now going to do. I think this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And I got all different sizes. So this is a 16 by 20 canvas. I need about 20 ounces of paint. This is just a 16 ounce cup. So I'm going to probably have to fill it up more than once. And for this one, I'm definitely not leaving the the balls on the canvas um but yeah this is going to be a fun experiment at least and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and i'll fill the cup up with paint and then before i actually pour it i'll bring you guys down for the side view because i think that's definitely better with a project like this so just fill in the cup up here. All right, we'll start with this. So I'm gonna bring you down for the side view. Here we go. I tried to find bigger nails, but then I just gave up and went with whatever nails I had. This big one does have a bigger nail in it. Ooh. And these small ones obviously wouldn't move around as much because, well, you know, they're small. I'm kind of digging the colors. I think I'll leave yellow on this one. This one, I'm gonna, it needs more paint anyways. And hopefully none of these fall over. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead real quick, put a little more paint in my cup and then pour some more. Okay, I do love the coloring on this one, but the back is not covered, so. Going to have to put some more on that. And otherwise, I'm basically just going to pour paint in between. Okay. Now, what's going to be really interesting with this is the tilt. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bring you back above for this part. All right. My biggest worry is one of the balls coming off and rolling around which probably wouldn't hurt anything too much I just would rather not okay very fun colors and once again these are just the basic colors the primary colors black black with black and white you know red blue yellow and a lot of times people love to argue with me saying, those aren't the primary colors. Um, I'm not a printer and I did kindergarten. So <laughs> stop trying to make a point that's unnecessary. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you can make a lot with just, of course, those basic colors. So I'm loving this. What I love about this technique is that the balls create kind of these little islands and then you get these fun swirls that go around them as the paint is kind of being blocked by them. Okay, I like that. So here's what we'll do for this video because like I said, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely taking the balls off. So I'm going to let these sit here for a little bit. Um, the balls actually dry pretty quickly. So those should be dry enough to remove within just a few hours. So when that happens, I will remove them and then I will come back and I will show you how everything looks. But before that, you know what, let's go ahead and do a quick close up. All right, so starting in the lower right hand corner, you can see all the different lines as the paint was moving around 
balls. And let's do a close up on the balls too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody keep your minds clean, okay? At least to yourself. I like, I actually really love the yellow and pink combination. Look how cool that one is. So I got all kinds of different colors on these ones, which is really cool. Okay, so back to our close-up. So this is the left-hand side. And I love, 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 love all these lines down here. So cool. So there you go. Go ahead and let it dry for a few hours and we'll be back. Okay guys, we're back. So the canvas, very not dry. The balls, mostly dry. I realized uh, kind of late in the game that I should have probably said spheres throughout this whole video and that would have probably been better. But anyways, I'm going to remove these and I'm going to place them on this spiked foam to finish drying on the bottom. And as I remove these, I'm going to twirl them to hopefully uh, add to some cool patterns there. Now this is unfortunate. I missed spots on this one. So I guess I'll worry about that later, but all right. So, yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with all these. All right, so for some reason, these little ones are still pretty wet. I'm actually going to leave those on longer, but I wanted to kind of show you guys just how it looks and also that process. I am going to leave the nails in there until after it is more dry because I don't want to lift the canvas up at this point to pull them out from the bottom. It's it's still way too wet. Um, but yeah, looks like some, like, it, I don't know, it makes me think of like Candyland or something. I, I like all the swirls and whatnot. I think it just adds something really fun to it. And I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this technique. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this video at least amused you. It definitely made me laugh a few times. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you next time.